I am Dr. Neema Bisht, BDS by degree and a pharma professional. Also, I am founder of Career in Pharma, wherein I provide guidance and training to healthcare professionals. I am on a mission to help 1 lakh healthcare professionals to attain financial security through career into clinical research industry. Once again, I welcome you all to Career in Pharma. So today in this video, I will talk about what exactly medical writing is and uh, what are the various forms of medical writing, uh, from whom we do medical writing, uh, means the what is what are the audience for, for you know we are doing medical writing and various forms and how the medical writing which happens inside pharmaceutical industry uh, during clinical trials and pharmacovigilance how it's different from other forms of medical writing and what is the scope opportunity and the eligibility criteria okay so let's begin first of all medical writing is a very broad term and there are various forms of medical writing so if you are someone with scientific background and a good writing skills then definitely medical writing is for you and uh, you can start your journey into medical writing now uh, let's understand what are other various forms of medical writing apart from the medical writing which happens inside pharmaceutical industry first of all we do medical writing we write to medical content for healthcare professionals for patients and for regulatory submissions for regulatory authorities uh, like US FDA now what are the uh, forms various forms of medical writing other than the writing which happens inside pharmaceutical industry so it can be you know writing of any health block medical block for patient for healthcare professional it can be any patient leaflet uh, you know any instructions uh, any publications abstract to uh, medical marketing writing for uh, medical marketing team manuscript and writing for medical education writing for any health magazine or maybe any health startup and writing for you know continuing medical educations that is cmes and um, you know edition uh, editing uh, review articles any you know any medical review articles so all these are various forms of medical writing which is not technically uh, the writing medical writing which happens inside pharmaceutical industry so now let's come to the medical writing which happens inside pharmaceutical industry during clinical trial phases and in pharmacovigilance phases first of all the medical writing which happens inside pharmaceutical industry is very technical okay uh, this is this is not very general that you you know general information that you get everywhere these are very technical kind of documents and definitely to write these kind of technical documents you need to have prior experience uh, you know any basic experience is very much required and at a fresher level to get into medical writing related to pharmacol uh, pharmaceutical industry is not easy but you know if if you uh, if you get that skill from anywhere or through your job experience then definitely uh, your journey to get into medical writing becomes easy now um, just now i mentioned that at a fresher level it's difficult uh, so for that i will give you an example let's say if you have to write a safety writing aggregate report let's say psur dsur which is a kind of safety writing uh, for that you need to have a basic experience of icsr that is Indi individual case safety reporting you should be knowing basically what is icsr how we are processing what we are doing inside this and then only you are eligible uh, to you know get a job inside aggregate reports that are PSUR, DSUR. So definitely, technically speaking, it is difficult to get into uh, these kind of safety writings, medical writing, at a fresher level. Or you can you know upskill yourself through you know any additional courses. Then in that case, it may help you. Yeah. So what are the different uh, various technical documents uh, which uh, we have to write as a medical writing inside pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical industry? 
so it can be any clinical document uh, which uh, you know required during clinical trial uh, for example clinical study reports we need investigator brochures we need uh, and uh, protocols sops and you know case record forms crfs all these are written by uh, written by medical writers these are like clinical documents other than this uh, there are you know safety documents safety writing we call them as all the aggregate reports comes under safety writing PSCOs, TSCOs, and PEBRAs, all these are safety reports, uh, and medical writing, uh, medical writer writes all these safety reports, uh, which comes under pharmacovigilance. Okay, so these are very technical documents. Uh, information about this is not very easily available across internet. Okay, now next question is, uh, uh, what is the eligibility? What basic criteria? You know, basic minimum required is. Uh, you should be having a sound knowledge of you know medicine medical terminologies and you should be familiar with the medical concepts as well as you should be having a sound uh, you know good writing skills as well okay so irrespective of whatever your domain is you should be having a sound medical knowledge and uh, you know sound uh, medical terminologies you should be knowing so um, but uh, inside medical writing Uh, post graduates are always given preference post graduates means maybe if you are uh, msc uh, biotechnology m farm farm d or mds or you know mbbs with md you all are uh, given more priority as compared to undergraduates <laughs> reason for that is because mostly in every post graduate course uh you always have to write you know some kind of thesis and all those things happens during post graduations and uh, that's why companies prefer mostly for writing post graduates they prefer mostly okay so for uh, it doesn't mean that being a graduate you are not eligible you are also eligible but mostly companies prefer post graduates and uh, in in this specific scenario being a post graduates you have an edge over just undergraduates candidates okay so this is about the eligibility criteria scope definitely scope is very good for the medical writing which happens in south pharmaceutical industry for other various forms of medical writing also it's good but why for uh, writing which happens inside pharmaceutical industry because uh, these kind of medical writing uh, first of all information is available very less uh, inside you know across all the social media google everything uh it's very hard to find those kind of technical documents uh, information about those thing other thing is uh, people inside medical writing are less and that's why uh, demand is good people are less that's why you know it's very hard to find experienced medical writers so that's why you know demand becomes you know it's like medical writers are, are they are in demand and that's why in market you have more value than other medical writers like different other forms of medical writers so if you are into you know pure technical medical writing or if you want to come inside this medical writing related to pharmaceutical industry uh, would suggest you to upskill yourself upgrade yourself or if you are into into your job let's say in icsr case processing then try to move into aggregate reporting which has a very good scope and uh, going forward scope is very good future is very bright and we all know that india is going to become a you know big market for pharmaco vigilance in the coming years without doubt so you should grab this opportunity okay and uh, don't wait for the opportunity to come that uh, you know when industry when there is a saturation point has come or things like those so it's the best time to get inside industry uh, into medical writing yes so i hope through this video i was able to uh, give you the clarification on that what is the difference between the medical writing happens inside pharmaceutical industry and other various forms of medical writing yeah and uh, going to conclude this video uh, please if you are able to get insights through this video regarding medical writing and if you like this video please 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 share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel coming soon with some other fresh next video till then stay safe stay healthy stay aware and stay updated thank you all have a nice day